So Zeus has a problem. Well, they have lots of problems, but they have a problem with certain uh, motherboards that have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Um, I think it's just built in one, and I think it's mostly just a B550 boards, but I'm not 100% sure on that, and I think it's only a certain group of chipsets. So uh, I don't think it's all of them, but it very well could be. Uh, but if you run into this problem where your Bluetooth just disappears, uh, my fix, and it worked for me, was going into the system settings. You can find that. There's multiple ways to get to it. I used a classic control panel just because it's easiest for me. Uh, going into system, and then it gives you <clears throat> the really crappy new... Windows 10 junk and then go into device manager and normally um, the Bluetooth icon will be here if it's not there you go into view and check show hidden devices and then you'll see a Bluetooth option here and what you want to do is just right click on everything in here and select uninstall uh, what this will do is it'll take it completely out of your system. Uh, Windows will not see it at all. Pretty much that's it. After that's gone, you just reboot. And in my case, it came back in there, and as you can see, it's there. Uh, obviously, it works. <laughs> it worked in my case because it's there, but it wasn't. I couldn't find it anywhere in here. I even reinstalled the drivers from the Azus website and it didn't pick it up at all um i do have a problem with one device down here um but that's because i use uh hyper v but at any rate uh yeah it, that's what i did to get it to work uh hopefully it works for you uh, some people had to just power off their system completely um let it sit for a few minutes turn it back on and it, it came mysteriously came back uh, probably just discharging the residual power. Um, some people had to go into the BIOS, disable it, and do that same thing. Some people disabled it in the BIOS, put it into their OS um, as normal, run Windows Update, maybe, possibly. Um, go back into the BIOS and re-enable it. And when they reboot it back into Windows, it came back. So there's multiple fixes. This is the one that worked for me. So... Um, if you tried the others and it didn't work, there you go. Hopefully this will help you out. But yeah, that's it. Hopefully this helped you.